Welcome to Trading Lounge, and um, this is the Elliott Wave count for the stock uh, in Australia, the ASX, and it's a monthly chart. So it takes us back to 2007 high over here. And one of the reasons for this is that um, this, uh, this whole move down through here can just be the A wave of an ABC correction. So as a correction, just a pattern like this, uh, a bull market up to here and then an A and a B and a C. The B wave is normally in three waves and pulls back up 61.8% of the length of wave A down through to here. So uh, wave A down to here and uh, wave B over to here as an ABC. So in this leg here, there would simply be three waves in this leg here as an A and a B and a C wave and that would read over here as an A wave, a B wave, and five waves for a C wave over here. So uh, the circle here is the 50% retracement level at the lower level and the 61.8% at the higher level here. And wave C of intermediate degree here will have five minor waves in it of one and two and three, and a complicated fourth wave here and then uh, wave five up through to here. In wave five, we're looking for five waves up through to here, and we'll have a look at those now on a daily chart. But uh, before that, uh, this A wave here, B wave here, then that would leave it open for a wave C down through to here. So if this count is correct, then we'd see five waves down through to here. So in trading terms, uh, it's fine to have a count, um, but it's when it comes to trading, it's more about the trading signal that's set up and ready to trade. Now, we wouldn't short this here unless we had 40, the medium level through here, as a retested resistance. So this is just a count that has uh, a reasonable amount of weight to it, uh, however, um, we need to look at both sides of the market. And in that particular case, in looking at both sides of the market, we would look at this here as an alternative uh, wave four here. And what I mean by that is that we would bring this A, B and C wave over to here as such. So we've got an A wave, a B wave in three and a C wave down through to here. And then this would be wave four here and then we'd be looking for a much higher move up through to here. So uh, even as confusing as that is, um, it still leaves us with the, uh, with, the, with the skills and the understanding to be able to drill down uh, into, the, into the wave count uh, as it finishes wave C up here uh, to understand what's going to happen next. So let's have a look on the daily chart. So on the daily chart here, we're looking for uh, five waves to the upside from uh, wave four here. And this is what we're looking for here at the moment. So uh, currently from this particular low here, we've got wave one and wave two here, very nice wave uh, one and an A and a B and a C here. So that would be five waves in here. So five waves in here, then an A and a B and a C uh, equals a motive wave. So eight waves, so five waves in the first wave here, an A and a B and a C here, three and five is eight. And then we're looking for five waves up here in the third wave here. And we appear to have that in terms of one and two and three and four and five. So the third wave is developing here. Once that is completed, then we can expect this to move back 38.2% of the length of wave three here. Let's just say that that's there for the moment. Normally wave four would pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree. So we're looking in, in there somewhere and uh, also Sometimes the distance a market moves above a level will be the same distance it can move below here. So we'll bring that down a little bit into uh, around the 39 sort of area through here. And wave one to two here, wave two here was very simple in terms of an A and a B and a C. So we can expect the wave four across here to be complicated. So wave four will normally be sideways and complicated. Once that's finished there, we'll be looking for wave five up through to here. Now, 
because the extension's in wave three here, that means that uh, wave five here is sometimes equal to the distance of wave one here. So maybe we won't see it go that high here, perhaps to the 42, 43 area, which, are, uh, which is mi minor levels. Um, so one of the really key points here is that once this five waves here finishes, if we if we can determine that we get a corrective move here after these five waves like this here, then we know that we're going to get a, a bullish run to the upside, okay? But if we don't get that three wave structure here and we get we start getting five waves here, then we know that we're going to be looking for further downside here. We know that in the first instance that um, we'll get uh, a move like this here, which will be uh, five waves, three waves and five waves, which will equal uh, as it stands a three wave correction like this. But if that gets any larger, if this here turns into like a five wave structure here, for instance, one, two, three, four, five, quite a large structure here, then we know that we're going to be into a much larger bearish picture after that. So uh, once we're finished uh, with this trend here, then we'll stand aside. We may get a few short positions out of this, but uh, the main point is, is that we want to see what occurs in this space here, and then we'll determine what the next biggest picture is from that point. Okay, thanks for listening.